Okay. Hey, everybody. Scratch. Rewind. Take two. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to my dirty porch. I'm doing something different today because I've been getting some things in the mail, which is pretty fun. Um, and so I wanted to share some things and I've got a little surprise here that I don't, I don't really know what it is. So I'm going to open it on the video and we'll see what happens. But, um, first a couple shout outs to some other subscribers who have sent me some things that have been, um, pretty awesome. Brooks sent me some towels. There's another one. It's, in the wash, Brooks, because I've been using it. I really love it. Isn't that cute? Farmhouse. Fresh farmhouse. I couldn't remember what it said. Anyway, it's awesome. Brooks likes to, Brooks is the one that likes to comment first, um, which is fine. That's awesome. Reminds me of my children, not gonna lie. Now that they can both sit in the front seat, it's like who can call first dibs on the front seat. Brooks likes to comment, for, comment first, and I love it. And he saw these towels and he thought of me and he asked for my address and he sent them to me and I love them. Thank you, Brooks. And then yesterday, I got a huge goodie box from this sweet lady named Sheila Gibson in, I know it's Minnesota, Minnesota. Is that how you say that? I'm sorry if I butchered that. I mean, I just would say Minnesota, but I know that's not how y'all say it. Golden Valley, Minnesota. She, we, I had seen where she had, or she, I can't remember exactly how it came about, but anyway, she was telling me about this bread. Did y'all know that bread came in a can? I did not know this. I never seen this in my whole life. I'm pretty sure we don't have this in the Piggly Wiggly, but I'm going to look. B&M brown bread, raisin brown bread, and she said she likes to heat it. So I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to this weekend. Heat it and toast it with butter, put butter all over it. So of course, that's where my little ears perked up. Um, so we're gonna try that. And she sent me some cornbread mix and some chicken breader and some nut goodies. These are not the nut goodies that like I know about. The ones that the nut goodies that my husband likes are these little like caramel cover things. These are chocolate with like marshmallow. They're delicious, I know, because I've already eaten one or two. And a hat, and she wanted me to try on the hat, so here we go. That's awesome. Can you read it? Fleet Farm, built for real life. Thank you, Sheila. I love all my goodies. Okay. Now, we're gonna see what's in here. <laughs> it says Ross Street Roasting Company. I actually do know what that is. I do know that this is a company that makes coffee. Um, but first you have to be smarter than the box. You have to be smarter than the box to get into it. And I'm not. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tear it up. I didn't even need my little knife. Um, packing material. And I hope there's a note. Oh boy. What? Divine inspiration. I'm, I'm doing that one first. Cause I need all that I can get. Kula pea berry. I don't know what that means. Oh, Bohemian Gothic. That does not sound like me. Um, Jack's Feed Store. Jack's Feed Store has their own coffee. I mean, I don't really think that's what that means, but anyway, it's awesome. I love the design. I don't. I don't know. Hold on, we're gonna find out what this is though. Okay, we have stickers, we have a thank you. 
Okay. I knew who this was from, but I just don't know the whole story. Farmer Derek. Okay. So, that guy that got famous for calling his com not his combine, for calling his cows in with his trombone, Farmer Derek. He does parodies. There's a bunch of them out there. I can't name them all. I'm sure a lot of you have seen his stuff on YouTube. Well, um, <laughs> he sent this to me, and it says, this is actually from someone else. Hi, Meredith. Farmer Derek loves your YouTube channel. Thanks, Derek. I don't think he does. I think he just wants me to like this coffee. But anyway, and he thinks you need some of our coffee to go along with that squirrel. Oh, maybe he has watched my channel. Okay. Enjoy Roaster Brian. So, I actually recently <laughs> interviewed Derek. God, this has already been six minutes. Oh my gosh. I got to speed this up. I interviewed him for Farmer's Edge. Because if anybody's different, it's Farmer Derek. Different with a capital D, I said in the story I just wrote. Um, and he asked for my address and he asked if I drink coffee. And I said, yes, it's my lifeline. It's my lifeblood. I drink coffee. It's what I do. It's what I do as soon as I wake up. If I don't have coffee, I can't function. And it keeps people in my home from being hurt. And it allows me to function, function. And they know that you can't really talk to me until I've had my coffee in the morning. But my coffee comes out of the red and black can, starts with an F, ends with an S, seven letters. Bulgers, good to the last drop. Is that their slogan? Probably not. It's probably the other company. Anyway, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. That's their sl slogan. So anyway, it is the best part of waking up for me is my coffee. But I'm going to try these. The thing is, this coffee is not ground. And he asked me if I had a grinder and I told him I did. But I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna have to find it. And then we're gonna we're gonna try these coffees, and we're gonna see what's what. So here we go. Okay, I'm in my kitchen on a step stool, looking in my very crowded cabinets for the coffee grinder that I haven't used in a few years. I had a friend that was going to try to make a really amazing coffee drinker out of me, and she, she bought it for me. I found it in the very back. In the very, very back. Okay, we're going to do this. And I also have this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, what is this called, y'all? I cannot remember what this is called. I should look that up before I started this. But I know it's what you can put on a top of a coffee cup. I don't even know where my, my coffee cup is missing. I think it's still in my bedroom. And I was using this, I think, instead of uh, coffee, what are they called? Filters. Oh, my gosh. My, my English is terrible. Coffee filters. So I was using this, I think. I think I can do that. I think it's the same thing. And, um... And pour hot water over it and, and, uh, what's the word? Brew it that way. <sighs> okay, let me go do some Googling. Hold on. Okay, according to the Google, this is called a coffee pour over. It's just called a coffee pour over. So I think that's what I said. Pour the coffee over the cup. It makes very much sense. So now we're going to roast. I mean, we're going to grind. And I'm going to bowl some water and we're going to try these coffees and that's what we're doing today and it's 3:43, so it's time to perk things up for the day that was a great pun it really was okay i know i need to speed this up first one smoky and smooth bohemian gothic it smells like coffee Smells good. I don't even know how much to do though. I don't know how much to put in there. So, this is just gonna be a big fat crap sheet.
And then the question is, how fine? How fine do you grind? How fine do you grind? I don't know. Okay, we have our samples. Jack Speed, Bow Goth, ah, Bohemian Gothic, Hula P, Hula P Berry, and Divine Inspo, Divine Inspiration. This is what we're doing. We're gonna see what we like the best. And I'm boiling my water like this, which is also not correct, I believe. You're supposed to have one of those little teapots. I don't have one, so boiled water. It's still boiled water. Actually, I don't even know if it's supposed to boil, whatever. And um, this is our little setup. <laughs> this is a different one, y'all. You'll either like it or you won't. Stick around. It's going to be different next time, too. Okay, like I said, I'm probably doing this wrong. I'm not really measuring stuff right either. But I just put what looked like, I don't know, enough for a small cup in here. And I'm going to let it do its thing. I hear it doing its thing. Let's see. Ah, it's doing its thing. It's almost full. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Okay. Whew, okay. I might have put too much water. Okay, I'm kneeling. Okay, Bohemian Gothic is supposed to be smoky and smooth. Okay, let's see. I don't really know what smoky and smooth is supposed to taste like, but it tastes good. I like my coffee dark and strong. This is dark and strong and it tastes really, really good. Okay, Bogoth is a, let's see what's next. According to my son, the feeder wagon just broke again. We might need more than coffee around here later. <laughs> okay, next, Hula P. Hula pea berry, pea body, pea berry, pea berry, <laughs> hula pea berry. Isn't that a funny name? Sweet pee. aroma, chocolate and raisin, medium to heavy body, syrupy mouthfeel. Okay, we'll see what that's all about. Hey. All right, so we pour a little water, y'all. This is what we do. We're brewing coffee today. I just didn't know that I could do that. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh, it's almost full again. It just fills up so fast. How does it fill up that fast? It just goes right through it. Is this a hula pea berry? This is hula pea berry. I'm try. Who? Knock knock. Who's there? Hula pea berry. Hula who? Hula pea berry. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh -uh. It's different, but I can't really tell what it is. Maybe it's like the chocolatey. I mean, it's not strong. It's good. It tastes good. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I like the other better, I think. Bo is ahead of Hula. Oh, we got a, we got a runner. We got a little, we got an escapee. All right. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it seems a little weaker, but that could be because I didn't put enough. I might've put, I might not have put enough. Grinds. Grounds? Grinds, grounds. What do you call that? You don't know either. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm putting this one in third. I'm with Bo, Hula, Divine Inspo. That's where we're at. One more to go. One more to go, y'all. Thanks for hanging in there. Okay, now, Jack's Feed Store. Because we need to know what... A feed store tastes like. If I was thinking about it, I would think like feed store coffee would be strong. It says chocolatey, earthy, and rustic. I guess I'm thinking about the little store like where my dad got coffee every morning growing up. It was somewhat syrupy. Well, maybe not syrupy, but it was strong. In the back room where the guys were like playing cards and stuff all day at the local. It was just a, um, it was just called WT's and Jim's store like a little hangout store gas station um it was awesome i wish they still had those you know it's like it's like things that kids don't get to experience anymore anyway i digress okay well we're down to the last one jack's feed store
I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's right up there with Beau, Beau Goth, Bohemian Gothic. And probably just because it's called Jack's Feed Store, I would be tempted to buy it before I would buy the other one because I'm weird like that. Jack's Feed Store it is. Jack's Feed Store wins. It might be because I put it in my cup that I use every day. That's already seasoned and <laughs> stained and chipped. So, there you go. There you have it. This Farm Wives coffee testing vlog. I mean, I don't think I'll be doing a lot of this. So, for those of y'all that are going to hate on it and tell me you don't like it, I'm sorry. We'll do something cow next time. All right. This is a thumbs up for my girl. That's all that matters. Cheers. <sighs> Definitely perked up. Okay, and real quick, lest I forget, I will put in the show notes. Not the show notes. This isn't a show. This is a show. This, it can be a show. Whatever. I will put in the description a link to the story I just wrote about Farmer Derek and his very different story. It's different. He owns it. Yeah, you can drink the coffee. Knock yourself out. So, look for that. Read, listen, if you choose. If not, I'll see you next time doing something different. <laughs>